Very good afternoon, sir. Ah, how are you? I am quite well. Uh, okay, good. Okay. Nice, well. nice seeing you. Thank you very much, and good afternoon, Dr. Chandrasekhar, Dr. Vijay Kumar. Namaskar, namaskar. So, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I welcome Honorable Minister of Earth Sciences, Dr. Jitendra Singh, for the, this event on India Arctic Policy, building a partnership for sustainable development. We also welcome the Secretary of Department of Science and Technology, uh, and Joint Secretary, Minister of Earth Sciences. Senior, senior officers from DST, my clicks from uh, Ministry of Earth Sciences, and uh, Mr. Lakhani from National Science uh, Center, uh, NSCS, and uh, Security Council Secretary. And I also welcome the uh, Scientist Director from NCPR for joining on the web. So this event is related to India's Arctic policy building a partnership for sustainable development, which has been, uh, we have brought out this document and this policy. It was going on for a long time and we have got input from different ministries, Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas, Ministry of Shipping. As such, so many ministries are involved in preparing this document and it is coordinated by uh, Ministry of Earth Sciences and uh, uh, NSCS. So, uh, about 10 days back, it has been approved by the cabinet. So today we have gathered to release the policy, then it will be uploaded on the ministry uh, webpage and it will be circulated to the ministries. So I will uh, uh, request uh, Honorable Minister to release the booklet uh, on India's Arctic policy. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. I have to compliment all the colleagues in the Ministry of Earth Sciences and uh, for this beautiful publication. I'm sure this is going to be an important reference book as well as a research book. And it's also a tribute to all those who are working in this area and also those who are placed at our uh, research center, center Himadri or been there. That's precisely what I was asking. Is trying to educate myself how many persons at any given time stay there and the kind of uh, patronizing leadership that Prime Minister Narendra Modi has uh, offered us in the last seven, eight years as a result of which every scientific endeavor has been given a special impetus and endeavor uh, and, and uh, impetus. I think this is uh, one of the better times happening even for our uh, engagements in uh, areas like the Arctic and uh, since all of us who are connected are well familiar with the subject, I don't need to go, but our relationship with the Arctic dates back to the pre-independence times. But I at the same time feel satisfied to note that there have been landmarks happening from time to time. I was just going through, you deployed uh, in 2014 the first multi-center sensor observatory then followed by an atmospheric laboratory in 2016. So, in, in any meaningful research, what matters is consistency, the other is the landmarks. So, we have been consistent and at the same time we have been also uh, registering landmarks and now we are among uh, the hand few of uh, countries who are engaged in uh, generating outputs out of this work, uh, the 13 nations as observers in the Arctic Council and uh, I'm sure besides uh, giving us an upper hand as uh, a leading research uh, contributor in the area, it also gives a sense of esteem to the nation as a whole and uh, adds to our national pride as India moves forward to take a frontline role in the community of nations. So. Congratulations uh, once again and I'm sure this will further enhance our capacities and capabilities to monitor the Arctic glaciers 
for their mass balance and comparing them with the glaciers in the Himalayan region. And India, incidentally, has a huge variety and heterogeneity of uh, resource to be worked upon, to be researched, and also to be used as an asset. I'm sure we'll be able to make the best of this opportunity. Thank you.